What's up, everybody? Captain Leroy here, and welcome to Severium. This is a PvP survival kind of, not really a Day Z game. Um, it's more kind of like Warface. I mean, at the moment, right now, this is this is in beta. It's it's uh, open beta right now, um, and right now all they have is the the PvP uh, game modes. But uh, they say later on they're gonna add uh, survival mode. Uh, and I don't, I don't think it's going to be like Day Z per se, but there is going to be kind of a story um, and cooperative missions that you can play with other people. Um, right now they got the, the Christmas theme. I got my my new sweater that actually comes with it whenever you uh, download the the beta. But uh, say you're in the lobby. Um, these are the weapons that I was given. Um, it's not play to win per se. Uh, you can buy things. But um, they kind of wanted it to be... This is going to be a free-to-play, if I'm not mistaken. This is going to be a free-to-play game. Um, and they don't want you to... Th they didn't want to go down the road of pay-to-win. Because, um, you know, a lot of people are not a big fan of pay-to-wins. They, they're more like... Uh, they like the skill. You know, you have to actually be skillful in these games to proceed and stuff like that. So, um, there is level design in it. Um, but see, I got... Uh, let you know how much uh, ammunition you got in your backpack, uh, how much is in your uh, inventory altogether, so you can only carry a certain amount um, into battle, which is pretty cool. Uh, I actually like that. Um, you can also see you got uh, helmet, mask, body armor, things you can customize your character with. Um, let's go over here to the store here. So, uh, yeah, these are things that I have. Um, so, let's... Let me see if I can find the black market here. So you go to the shop, and as you can see, there's a ton of weapons. I mean, they got weapons all different shapes and sizes, and uh, that's that's pretty awesome. I'm I'm all about it. Um, you can also buy equipment. Um, I, speaking of which, I should probably get <laughs> get rid of my sweater. I don't want people to think I'm stupid, but I don't have any. I don't have any uh, rubbles. Exchange gold for rubbles. Anyway. So yeah, you can customize your character using all kinds of awesome uh, apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic uh, gear. Um, these were made, th this was made from the people who made Stalker. Uh, they were going to make Stalker 2, but uh, the company uh, shut down or something like that. And um, they had to stop production on Stalker 2. Um, however, they did not want to give up what they had done. So they proceeded to make this game uh, that I'm going to show you now. I'm just going to do a PvP match because that's really all you can do at the moment. Um, but, but I think that um, I've played a couple rounds before, and it's actually uh, pretty pretty awesome. Give me your jacket. I don't want to shoot you. That's probably the worst way to hold that, I would think. Um, but uh, like I said, there's a couple of different uh, modes that they're going to come out with. Um, as you can see, it's first person. You can't toggle third person. Um, it, what it kind of reminds me of is kind of like uh, Last of Us meets Call of Duty. Um, especially the PvP rounds, because um, wh whenever you play other people, it's... Ah! It's really loud. Uh, you can pretty much... Oh, oh! I'm getting infected. Radiation. Um, now, I'm sure if I had the proper equipment, I wouldn't get affected by radiation, but I'm not 100% sure. I don't know where people are. And I think this is just a, yeah, this is just a team deathmatch. There's other game modes oh, where, uh, man, that is loud. There's other game modes where you have to take uh, boxes from uh, different places and move them to your base uh, to score points and stuff like that. Um, holy crap, who's shooting? Everybody's name is in Russian, as you can see. Ah, get up there. Oh, 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 I can't see! Oh man, they dropped him quick. Ah! Oh my gosh! Oh gosh! I'm in trouble, I'm in trouble! Oh, yes! Not today, Makarov. Alright. <laughs> so, as you can see, that was pretty close. I almost got destroyed. Oh, little glitch there. This is early, early beta. Um, but from what I've seen of it, it actually, it looks really good. I don't, I'm not sure how long it's, hang on. I'm not sure how long it's been in development for, um, but they've worked really hard on it. I've never heard of it, and maybe that's because I'm over here in America, or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I don't know. But um, this is definitely a game that I would uh, 
like to, holy crap, that I would like to, uh, <laughs> that I would like to play when it comes out. I have no idea that I'm here. Oh. All right, so, um, uh, there you go. That's, that's how you, uh, that's how you do it right there. Oh, snap. Oh, he's coming. Hey! Oh! Got me right in the head. I think, uh, like, as you can see, it's really got a, um, kind of a nuclear apocalypse kind of feel to it. Not necessarily here, because it's more, um, grassy, less, um, uh, metropolitan. But, uh, there's a lot of... Oh! Yeah, see, you got the radiation over there. But they have a lot of good ideas, and I think the way they're going with it is actually really cool. I've uh, done a little bit of research on it, so I don't know a ton uh, about it or how it's going to be. Oh! Um, he machine gunned me. But, say, um, you do survival mode or you do uh, mission mission mode with your, your buddies, cooperative. There will be cooperative missions. Um, and you, you learn different things about different places. So, for instance, this map that we're in uh, has a story to it. There's a reason that it is the way it is, how it was before, why people are here shooting each other, uh, different things like that. And the more you play, the more you uh, beat missions, the different things that you find, because they're going to throw in um, different stashes and stuff like that with notes and and kind of a, a lore kind of things, they're going to be um, more revealing to, to the story. Um, and in the end, it's going to all come together. And I wonder, um, again, I haven't seen any footage or they haven't released anything about survive, survival mode, um, but I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to be similar to Stalker, because Stalker was an open world first person shooter um, in the in the Russian apocalypse, or somewhere in Russia. I shot him twice with a Mosin! Maybe the third time we'll get it. Yep, we're good. But, uh... What was I saying? Oh, yeah. The open world of Stalker was very successful. Stalker is a huge... Uh, I really don't know why the company went under, or what happened, but it was really popular with people, and uh, they absolutely loved it. So... It's good to see that they're bringing this online. Um, and like I said, this should be a free-to-play. Uh, so, you know, you got something to look forward to. Free of charge. Now, if it changes... Oh, I'm sure they'll... I'm sure they will uh, adapt. Come here! Oh, shoot him! Shoot, shoot him! Come here, you fool. Where'd he go? He disappeared. He's a monster! As you can see at the bottom right of my screen, there is a um, there's a little status bar of my body. What is that? A human apparatus? I don't know. I'm not smart, but uh, it shows you where you've been damaged, where you've been hit, how critical it is. So small things like that that will make it uh, more personal will uh, definitely be uh, a really good feature for this for this game, and uh, especially when you're playing with your buddies. Uh, you know, you get that four-man squad, or however many people you can play with. Uh, they, they haven't talked about that at all. But... Ooh, oh! But when you use uh, teamwork, in that sense, it's uh, really... It really brings a, a good vibe to the game. Makes it more fun. Makes it feel like you're really trying to survive. Now, whether or not there's going to be, say, a hunger system, or uh, a sickness system, or weather, I don't know. Uh, I would love for they just took each other out. I would love for there to be that. I'd love it to be a DayZ killer, honestly. Um, but I, I I don't think they're gonna go that deep into it. Oh oh! No Sprack is he Russian? Now there are other videos on YouTube of this game that probably have more information um, than I'm giving you because I don't really have that much information. I just kind of wanted to show you the game. Uh, and how it is right now as far as the development process. So, uh, you know, go check them out. See see what you think. Um, you, you can download this. I'm pretty sure you can download it. Regardless if you're in um, Europe or not. Because, I mean, this is all in English, so. 
maybe I just don't understand the concept of a European beta. Maybe it's just because it's being released. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, check it out for yourself if you can. Uh, if you can't, I'm sure that later on down the road when it comes out, uh, you'll be able to. Oh, I hear footsteps. Ah! What happened? Oh! My leg got caught. Okay, so apparently you can place down traps. This is one of the things that uh, makes this game awesome is you can have, I guess, you could place traps down. You can buy different things. Oh! See, I didn't even know that. Wait, we, we learned together. So, when this game comes out, I'm going to be extremely excited. I can't wait to see what they have uh, in the full release. Because um, this, is, this is going in a good direction. It looks great for, for the process that it's in, or the development uh, stage that it's in. Uh, so, you know, high hopes. High hopes for this game. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm Captain Leroy, and I will see you in the next